Good day! I am Ramizel G. Peñafiel, a teacher from Cabanatuan City Senior High School, your teacher presenter for Teleturuan. Today, we will talk about the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life and explain why Earth is the perfect location for life to exist. Do you know the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Goldilocks wandered far away from home and stumbled upon the three bears' house. Little wee bear and one was a middle-sized bear and the other was a great big bear. First, Goldilocks sat in all of their chairs, tasted all of their porridge, then finally lay down in all of their beds. Towards the end of the story, those that belongs to little wee bear were the ones that Goldilocks found just right for her. So where does the story of Goldilocks and the three bears lead us? It is the Goldilocks principle. It describes why Earth is habitable and also explains why everything on Earth is just right for the existence of life. Just right, it means that the fundamental conditions on Earth are all perfect in order to support life. Let us discuss those conditions. First is the temperature. One of the most significant factors in making Earth habitable is its right distance from the sun, making it not too hot and not too cold. It enables the Earth to maintain stable average temperature, also allowing liquid water to exist on the surface and making conditions favorable to life. According to NASA, the average surface temperature on Earth is approximately 14 degrees Celsius. This varies depending on the time of day, the time of year, and the place where the measurements are being taken. Next is water. The various chemical properties make water indispensable for living creatures. Water nearly dissolves anything, hence it is often referred to as a universal solvent. This property of water makes it a perfect medium for transporting substances to and from a cell. It is also present in all three phases, providing several opportunities for diverse ecosystems. Let's have the third characteristic of the Earth, the presence of atmosphere. The atmosphere is the layers of gases that surrounds the Earth. The atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.97% argon and carbon dioxide, and 0.04% of other gases. It also absorbs ultraviolet solar radiation and reduces extreme temperature between day and night. The atmosphere also regulates the balance of water and oxygen and carbon dioxide. Next is the energy from the sun. The sun radiates light and heat, or solar energy, thus allowing life to exist on Earth. It is where producers obtain energy to create energy-rich organic compounds through the process of photosynthesis. The sun keeps Earth in place in its orbit. It also regulates Earth's climate system such as steering the atmosphere and creating weather patterns. Last, the nutrients. Nutrients are chemical substances necessary for the survival of living organisms. It includes carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and water. They provide energy, materials required for growth and repair of tissues, and substances needed to regulate life processes. Plants and other autotrophs absorb nutrients from soil to synthesize their own food. All of these characteristics and features of the earth, right temperature, presence of water and atmosphere, energy from the sun, and abundance in minerals make it the most suitable habitat for human. Thank you for your active participation. I hope that you have learned a lot. See you again next time. Goodbye!